Any bartender that's truly passionate about the craft loves to experiment. For the young eager bartender, this can result in a refrigerator teeming with syrups and infusions of all kinds. Expert bartenders will label their experiments so that they can be identified for later use. Unfortunately, I am not an expert, which is why today I'm tasting random unmarked bottles from my fridge. First up, whatever this is. It's clear and I can see some sediment on the bottom, so this is probably an experiment from what I had the centrifuge. It smells a little fruity. Kind of like apricot. I don't remember doing any experiments with apricot though. I cannot remember what this is. It does taste a little bit like a sage infused vermouth that I made once, but I did that in an EC whip and those don't leave sediment, so I don't know. It's a mystery. It tastes good though. Next up, mystery purple. Mmm. Oh, this is really thick. Tastes like some kind of cranberry reduction. Trash. The all important palate cleanser. Next up, this bad boy. I'm kidding, it's flat coke. Something else with sediment, so another centrifuge experiment. All these sticky caps got me nervous. I don't know. This is a syrup of some kind. Can't really tell what it was though. Next up, my date bourbon experiment. In a rare moment of excellence, I actually labeled this one. If this is what I think it is, I put bourbon and dates in a bag and cooked it sous vide. A little thick. Okay, this is not date bourbon. This is actually coconut date syrup, which means I still suck at labeling. Jar o' mystery. I think I remember what this is. I made pumpkin spice infused apple jack that I used to make eggnog. This is good, I'm holding on to this. What is this? Why is this? This doesn't smell very good. Coffee infused something, but I'm not sure what. This isn't bad either. I'm kind of tempted to keep it around, but I hate that it's been sitting in a plastic bottle for who knows how long. Trash. It smells like coffee. And manure. That's fun. Whatever that used to be, it's definitely not that now. The things we do to get famous on the internet, am I right? He said to his 204 subscribers. Last one. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Yup. A friend of mine made her own bitters, which is cool, but what makes this even cooler, in my opinion, is that this person is not a bartender, so instead of making it for a particular application, she just made something she thought she would like. Yeah, I'll be keeping this one too. That's all I got for today. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow.